Australia's electricity network stretches for 918,000 kilometres. It could circle the equator 23 times. So to get a taste of what it takes to power the country, I'm starting with this web of transmission lines. They all need maintenance from dangerously close quarters. To keep the lights on, teams like this literally put their lives on the line. You've done your fuel checks, Dan, yeah? Oh, I have, yep. Safety is crucial for both pilot Dan Ward and linesman Brett Newbolt. Because while maintenance is carried out, the lines remain live and lethal. Feels like chopper work is inherently kind of comes with its risks and dangers. How dangerous is this work? It can be risky. Obviously, we're working on uh, live power lines. If there's thunderstorms around within 20 kilometres of the line, we uh, we won't go up. When the wind picks up, if it gets too too strong, we'll stay at home. And then if it's coming from certain directions, it just makes the job unsafe. We just call it quits. What kind of things do you have to check before you go up? First thing, we've got to check the machine, just to make sure it's still airworthy. Pretty clean, actually. The first impression is like, that's clean, your uniforms are clean. We've put it on for you. Oh, right? yeah. <laughs> then how, how close do you get to the lines? Under 10 metres. To a 220,000 volt line. Yeah. It may be all part of the job for Dan, but these lines carry 950 times the amount of electricity as the lines into our homes. General conditions, fuel hoses. And the substance they use to clean them is water. Water often conducts electricity and you're washing the lines with water directly. People think that, but the fact is that it's uh, dirty water that becomes a conductive medium where we use demineralised water. So demineralised, deionised yeah, water. Do you, do you test it before you go up? Yes, we do. Because it doesn't conduct electricity, demineralised water is used to clean the insulators. And regular cleaning is vital to prevent trips and blackouts. And this yeah. carries the water here? Yeah, so the water comes from the tank, goes into the wash pump motor, and then comes through this oh, yeah. hose. I've got the trigger for water. I've got to push the talk to talk to the pilot. It's heavy? <laughs> well, it is quite heavy, especially when the breeze yeah. is on it and it takes a bit of muscling, eh, sometimes. You need and to wash your car. You just... Wash your car, wash the paint <laughs> off your car. Really? <laughs> Today, here in the West Australian wheat belt, the team will wash up to 60 insulators. While I try to keep up, travelling with the ground crew. This is pinpoint precision work. They need to get close enough to the line to do the job, but respond in an instant to any changes in conditions. There we go, clean. First oath. Right, we've got an undercrossing just after the road. Yeah, copy that, a couple of undercrossings. Today, the wind has picked up enough for Dan and Brett to be right on the limit of being able to do their job safely. Brett is constantly monitoring parts of the helicopter the pilot Dan can't see. Tail, tail's clear. Tail clear. Tail clear. Tail clear. Communication and concentration are critical. Yeah, she's getting a bit There's that wind. We're always talking to each other the whole way through, and that's critical doing this job. Things that can go 
wrong. Yeah, if we were to mess it up, it could be fatal. But their dedication and skill keeps the power flowing. Good job, Dan. That's done. That one's done. Good job.